am going to be tying a new fly that I'm sure somewhere someone has done something like this, but I kind of made this up. Um, it's a uh, leech pattern, but you have to mash the barb on this because this is a size 8 hook and I'm using a uh, size 6 millimeter cone head. For some reason they just don't get on the hook without mashing the barb. So this is a size 8 streamer hook. It's a Daiichi 1750. So I like adding a little extra weight besides just the cone head. 10 or so wraps of lead wire. This is 0.25 size. And uh, that could have been a little more than 10. I just grabbed a piece and uh, you know grab it on there. Usually ends up around 10, might be 12. Doesn't have to be perfect exact. Um, I just like a little extra weight. Now I mash it up against the, the head. This is a uh, 70 denier ultra thread. Probably should use something a little heavier like a 140. I just don't have that in black. So I use this and it seems to work just fine. Alright, so we are going to pull off a strip of black rabbit fur. Measure that out to about the length of your hook. Before we tie that in, just to make sure nothing spins, I like a little head cement. And we're going to tie that on on the back. So I've got this really beautiful holographic flashaboo. We're just going to tie two strands of it on either side of the hook shank, just to give a little, little flash. Next we're going to bring our thread up. I'm going to grab a small piece of this cross cut zonker. You don't need too much of it. When you do this, you want to pull back the fibers as you pull it, as you wrap it forward. Now I use this cross cut because it keeps it thin. I don't want this bulged out, which if you wrapped a zonker it would bulge. So this keeps the profile a little thinner. I take a large bit of this uh, bullfrog dubbing and then I separate it like this, like so. And what that'll do is make sure all the fibers are aligned correctly. So that was black bull to frog dubbing and this is black starburst dubbing. I'm going to put that in with the black bulldog, or uh, bullfrog <laughs> dubbing. And then I'm just going to go ahead and pull everything apart, make sure everything's aligned properly. And then this is pretty long, you can see. This is really long stuff. So we're going to cut that in half. We don't need that big of a chunk. And when we do, we get square ends, like so. So we're going to lay those on opposite sides of each other and then continue separating until you get that to look less square, basically. Our thread all the way up by the cone head. We're going to take our mixture here of dubbing, wrap it around the hook shank, and make sure all of it's tied right on the back side of that cone head. And we pull back and do a couple wraps in front. It's going to be hard to epoxy up this, so I just use some head cement, pull all the fibers back, make a few wraps underneath, and that will get that head cement in there. Then we can come in and do a four or five part wood finish. I like doing that twice just to really make sure that's in there, especially since I'm using such a thin thread. Really, you want like a 140 denier uh, for this, at least 100 denier. This 70 is a uh, little thin and then this always ends up longer on the top so I just kind of cut that off and then we're going to go through and pick out this make sure that the fibers are going the way that you want and you 
take a brush or just your fingers and pull it out and you can see I'm getting pieces. We're just basically making sure that all the loose fibers are out of there and also make sure it's angled the right direction. If you have any stray fibers like this, you can go ahead and trim those out. Any of them that just aren't cooperating, going the wrong way. You want that head to be nice and uh, smooth. I hooked a nice uh, about 18 inch rainbow last time I went out right on this pattern. So 